Josh Miller, and uh, we talked in a little bit today about gzipping your site in Joomla, and uh, just overall like site performance and speed. First of all, just a brief overview of what gzip is. It is a um, a way to uh, speed up your site, and what it basically does is uh, when your browser makes a request to the server, um, and if that browser supports gzip format, then um, uh, the server will send the file of the web page in a zipped file and the browser will uncompress it for the end user to see. <laughs> um, it really can help out on speeding up your site and load time. Um, and we're also going to talk a little bit about uh, the downside to it as well as some things to look out for and uh, what's the best thing to use in Joomla. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the default gzip setting that is built into Joomla. First of all, you're going to go to the back end of your site, go to Global Configuration, and then you're going to go to Server. Um, and then right down here, you'll see Server Settings, and there's a setting called GZIP Page Compression. Right now, I have it turned off. All you have to do is click Yes and Apply, and you're good to go. Now, one of the cool things uh, that's kind of nice to check it is if we go to our front end, and I'm just going to grab my URL here. And then I found this cool little site, gidnetwork.com backslash tools backslash gzip-test.php. Um, and that's included in the, uh, in the page below. And if you paste your URL in here, it actually will check and tell you what's going on when it comes to page compression in your page. And as you can see, I don't have it on. It's taking 33,000 bytes. And then it tells me um, the levels of compression and how much I would save by doing that compression. So let's go back and we'll actually turn this on. And I'll hit apply. And then we'll go back here and we'll check it again. And this time you can see it's turned on. And you can see here that uh, we compress 75% of the site, bringing it from 33,000 bytes down to 8,000 8, bytes. As you can see, it's it's definitely saving us a lot of uh, 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 time um, and, and speeding up our site just a little bit more. Now, the other thing that you should be aware of is that uh, it can cause some issues, um, and those issues lie within um, third-party components and extensions. Uh, it sometimes is unreliable when it comes to uh, using other extensions. It can uh, become buggy and end up sometimes leaving your site completely blank. So it is very, very um, important that you make sure that you are checking and that you are uh, checking to make sure that it's working on all your pages, especially your main extension pages. Now the other way that you can optimize and gzip your site is through plugins and um, there's quite a few plugins um, out there the one that I really, really like that I think is probably the best one out there is JCH Optimize. And you can search that and you can find it on the JED. Um, but the JCH Optimize plugin has been the one that I found to be the most reliable and also uh, gives you the most options. As you saw before in the default Joomla one, we really had no options in terms of uh, settings when it came to the GZIP. Um, but here, we can choose to uh, minify and compress only certain files. Um, oh, and also another important thing to remember is the default Joomla one only compresses your HTML. It doesn't compress your CSS or your JavaScript. That's kind of why we kind of need to go ahead and look at a few other extensions that can make this possible. Okay, so JCE, JCH Optimize plugin gives you the options to optimize, combine, and minify your CSS, JavaScript, as well as your HTML. And uh, this one I found to just instantly speed up my site. Um, there are a few other options in here that I typically don't use. I find them to be a little bit buggy, but if you stick to these ones right here, um, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, just to give you an idea of what this is doing, I'm going to show you uh, the source code before the HTML is minified, and then I'll show it to you after. So here, if we go to my home page, and we'll view the source. Here you can see, here's all my HTML, 
all scattered throughout and, and as you can see it's kind of a long file to scroll through well if we go back here and we turn on the minify HTML you will see we'll refresh it okay and now here's our source much much smaller and it actually is um, kind of a benefit of this is it makes it really hard for someone to take a look at your source code so if you're trying to kind of you know you've come up with a very cool JavaScript thing that you kind of don't really want people to find out about this will make it a lot harder for them to really look at how you did um, your site and and make it very confusing for someone who doesn't really want to take the time to figure all this stuff out um, and that's pretty much it and like I said also with um, minimizing the CSS and the JavaScript I'm going to turn this off so we can take a look at the source code as well um, we'll take a look at this one more time you can see here um, ah, right here so you can see here here's a zipped file of my style sheet and then of my JavaScript and then if I were to click on that, you can see here are my CSS styles that are completely compressed, minified, taken out, commenting, and white spaces in the in the file. And then you can also see that um, here in the JavaScript, it's the same thing. Um, and this just really helps your scripts become smaller, and it also decreases the amount of files that the um, browser has to go get from the server, therefore increasing your um, speed for your page. Alright, and then the last thing I wanted to say is um, before you install this extension, definitely take a look at a few of them. There's quite a few out there that all do a great job of um, zipping up your site. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is also um, somewhat of the drawback of gzip and the things that you have to really look out for and things that I've run into on my sites. Um, the first of them being is um, it can cause um, some conflicts with other extensions and components inside of Joomla. So when you do enable a uh, gzip compression, whether it be just JavaScript, CSS, or the HTML, the default one in Joomla, you always really need to um, check out your core components um, and make sure that everything is running smoothly um, so that way you don't have any issues. Um, and definitely, definitely make sure that you back up before you install any kind of major extension like one of these, um, just so that way if anything does go wrong, you can always go back to where you started. And I think that's it for me. Till next time.